Good morning, my little hummingbird. How are you guys feeling today? I hope you're feeling well. Thank you for coming into my garden. Because when you come into my garden, I am going into your garden. Today, you guys, when I woke up this morning, God said, you didn't give me permission to come in. Come in where, Lord? Come in where? You didn't give me permission to come into your worries, your stresses, your sorrow, your pain, your unforgiveness. Okay? He said, I want you to allow me to come into the veil of you. Will you let me come into the veil of you? Give me all your problems, all your worries. And this is going to hit me hard, you guys. Because I'm learning to get out of the way of God. And let him come on in and do what he needs to do, not what I want him to do. He told me about the oil, okay? And I'm going to keep telling you guys about this oil, but this is oil that you guys can do, not something that I'm selling. Because you can't sell what God has, okay? But he said to decree your words and your stresses in this oil, in your oil, in your own cabinet, olive oil. Okay? And then you let him move on it. You don't even try to say, Lord, this is what I want you to do. This is what you just decree that worry, whatever it is, in this oil, and watch him move. And he's moving within twenty four hours. Within. I have a friend and I think I could, I showed you guys I had the video. I ended up taking that one down because Robin and I are gonna do another video soon. But um Robin, the woman that had the, the problem with her face where she had the stroke, you know, I told her about this oil, and she told me that she was having a little bit of a problem, and I'm not even going to go into what it was, but she told me that the problem that she had, you know, the, the thing, she didn't hear from it or see it in two months or whatever, or some months or whatever. It was a while. I don't even know if it was two months, but... You know, she said God moved on it. The minute she put it in the oil, God moved on it within 24 hours. See, guys, when God tells me to tell you guys something, if I move me out of the way because I don't know what he's going to do. I didn't know what he was going to do when he told me to put my worry, which was my daughter, in that oil. I didn't know. And all I said was, God, I, I want you... This is a worry, but I want protection around me. And, it, and my daughter came home. Right after I put it in the oil. This was like within 24 hours. Hear what I'm saying, you guys. God said today, this is going to be a channeled message from Him. Where I am just allowing Him to come in. I'm getting out of the way of it, and I got this song, this is not my music, okay, it's not mine, but he told me to play it, because it's very powerful, okay, and he told me to just allow him to come into me, so as I'm doing that, you guys, I'm telling him to come behind my bed. I want him to come into every circumstance that I'm going through and every circumstance that you guys, my little hummingbirds, my tribe, his tribe, is going through. I'm here to help you through your brokenness. In it, through it, and I have no agenda behind it. I just want you guys to know that I'm here for you. If you came on this channel today, God led you here. Now I'm going to just get into his presence. I don't know what he's going to do, but right now, guys, I'm getting hot because I'm allowing him to move in me. He's 
said, I want you to give me permission. Whatever you're doing, whatever hurts you have it, give me that permission to come in and be God. Be your Lord. Be your King. Do you understand? So right now, Lord, I thank you for this message today. For us to give you permission to come in. Father, I thank you for giving us this oil. Father, I thank you that you told us to anoint our head with oil, whether it's in your hair or in right here. Father, I thank you that you said when you anoint your head with oil and you wash your face, you are actually going into a sacred fast. You're actually going into the secret places. And I just thank you. I thank you, Father, for giving us that because a lot of us don't understand how you can move, how to, how to make you move. But you said all we have to do is decree a thing and it will be so. Decree it and declare it. Do you all hear what I'm saying? So right now, if you guys can do this with me, okay, let's give God permission, our Father in heaven, the creator of the heavens and earth, give him permission to come on in, come into our garden, and be real in us. Father, I thank you so much for my hummingbirds, every last one of them is on this channel. I thank you for that because we need you, Lord, right now. We need you right now in this election, through this election and the change and everything. We need you, Father, to help our president, you know, help Joe Biden when he gets in there to be the best version of himself to the United States. Father, I know right now we have been through mental stresses through the changes and the, the upheaval that our President Donald Trump has been doing. And we just thank you, Father, that you will come in swiftly and quickly and remove our PTSD. Because that's what we're about to have. We've been up under a lot of mental stress for four years. And if you say you haven't, then you're not being real to yourself. You, we all were taking out of ourselves because of something that somebody else did being selfish because they wanted it their way. So we just thank you, Father, that you swiftly come in and remove those that mental stress and, and the mental anguish that we have been through the last four years. And I don't know if it was hard for you guys in 2020, but 2020 was a hard year. 2020 was awful for me. I'm going to tell you all that right now. But because 2020 was so awful, it made me be alone. That's what you got to be. It made me, as I was alone, it made me understand who the Father is. It made me reach deep within myself and have that faith that you cannot see. It made me go into myself and do my own work. See, because he said faith without works is dead. Okay? And that's what he's giving us right now. We got to do the work. You can't expect him to do everything for you. If he tells you to do something, excuse me, this is hitting me. If he tells you to do something, you need to do what he's asking of you. Do you understand what I'm saying? God is real. He's just as real today as he was yesterday, as he was back in the day. Biblical times. He's still that real. But we don't give him a chance. We don't give him permission to come into where we don't want to let nobody else in. Do y'all get this? He said, give me permission. Will you give him permission? Will you allow him to take over your world, your circumstances, will you allow him to do that? 
or are you going to keep holding on to it so tight that you're holding on to it like ropes tied around your hands going into the white meat? Doesn't that sound horrible? Well, that's what you do when you hold on to your bitterness, your hurts, your anger, your, your fears, your sadness. That's what you do. I'm bringing this stuff to y'all just as raw and real as I can get it. So maybe if you can't get it one way, you will get it this way. God is not playing around. He don't want us holding on to things that other people gave us that was horrible to us. But we still holding on to it like it's our own. Like I always say, you still holding on to it like a Christmas gift that you didn't want, but you're keeping it anyway. Okay? I want you guys to know that God is here right now. And I'm allowing him to come in and speak a prophetic word to you guys right now. Somebody right now is going through some hard times. Somebody right now is going through some family issues. And God is saying, my child, I see you. I know what you've been going through. I know that you've been dealing with some stresses that you don't want to tell nobody because you're embarrassed about it. But I'm here. I'm coming back for my church. I'm coming back for my bride. Are you ready? Will you give me permission to come in and see you? Live in you and through you? Will you come? Will you allow me to come into your garden? Will you allow me to do that? He's asking right now. Right now. Who's going through some problems? I know we all are. But why are you trying to hide it and try to make it look like that you ain't going through no problems when you know you are and God knows you are? He said, I want you to give that problem up. Whatever that is, whatever you're worrying about, that hate that you have for somebody that you don't want to tell them that, 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 they, that you hate them, but you holding on to that hate and all that's doing is causing judgment upon you. Do you hear what I'm saying? I have been broken. I have been broken to the core of my being. Okay? I've been broken where I didn't know which way to go. But God. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? But God. He's asking, will you give him permission to come in? Or will you just hold on to it? Like a Christmas gift. Will you hold on to it with the chains, like, like ropes being tied around your hands, going all the way down to the white meat where you're bleeding? Will you release those ropes? Will you allow him, give him that permission to come into your broken places that you don't speak about, those secrets that you keep it? You know the one. He's saying, will you give him permission? To come into that problem where you stressing out about your finances? Will you give him permission to come into that area? He said, I am here. And you are not alone. And I love you. Right where you're at. Right where you're at. You know you don't even care about yourself anymore. Because you felt... You allowed another person to come in and take pieces of you from yourself. Hear what I'm saying, the Lord of hope. Hear me and know that I have you in the battle, those battles of your mind. I have you in those secret places. Will you allow me? Will you give me permission to come on in? to every broken place that you have. Those things that, that you're ashamed of, will you allow me to go into those places? Will you allow me to go into that place where you can't even look at your own self in the mirror? He said, my child, I want you to go and look into the mirror 
And tell yourself that I love you. Tell you I love you. And don't stop until you feel it. Because when you feel it, that's when God will come in. Hear what I'm saying. Go look into the mirror. Go look into the mirror at yourself. It's going to be a hard thing to do. I've done it before. And when I looked in the mirror and I literally heard my words coming out of my mouth, which was the words of the Lord coming to me, letting me know that he loved me. Do you hear what I'm saying? How many people can tell their self that they love each, they love their self without wanting somebody else to love you? He said, I want you to love yourself unconditionally because when you can love yourself unconditionally then I will come in and love you he said I love you I love you when you pick up that bottle I love you when you put that needle in your arm I love you when you have to take a smoke I love you when you have to smoke weed. He said, I love you in those areas. I love you when you pick up that crack pipe. I don't know who I'm talking to, but he knows. I'm just giving you guys what he's giving me. He said, give him permission to take that crack pipe out of your hand. Give him permission to take that bottle out of your hand and up to your mouth. Give him permission. Give him to permission in your sexual addictions. Give him permission. Will you give him permission? Excuse me. Will you give him permission? He said he loves you just where you're at. He don't want you to think that he does not love you because you beating yourself up. He don't want you to beat yourself up anymore. He wants you to trust him. And right now I just I just lift my voice and I lift my hands up right now to just thank him for whatever he's getting ready to do in y'all's lives right now. I, I just thank him for it. There's so many things that we allow other people to do to us. And we won't even allow God to do these things. So God said, give me permission to come in. Come on. Will you allow me to give, will you allow yourself to give God permission to come in and block anything else that's in your way of superficial love? Will you allow him to come on into that place? Everywhere you hurt, will you allow him to come? I just thank you guys so much for allowing me to come in. And if you really like what I'm saying, thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. He said... This is going to be the year. This is going to be the year where he is going to bring change. Change in our lives. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Change. He's bringing it in. But we have to allow him to do it. Do y'all get what I'm saying? I'm so thankful and grateful that I, I hear him. And I'm so grateful and thankful that no matter what I go through... And he tell me to move on it. I move. I don't I don't waste time. I don't sit and, and, and say, Lord, you know, I don't I don't care what you're talking about. You know, I'm gonna let you move in my situation because I trust you. I offer up my faith. He told me one time, offer up your faith to me. Your faith. And all he's saying is offer yourself up to him.
so that he can do his work in us. But we don't allow, we won't allow, we allow other people and other things to come in and have that spot. But we won't allow our own Father, our own Creator of Heaven, to come in and love on us. And love us where we're at. Love us in our flaws. Right now I got a scratch right there. I scratched myself. And it was pretty bad the other day, so I didn't come on. But see, I was letting that hold me back from what God wants me to do, the work. We can't allow things to hold us back anymore. Okay, we have to let let go and let God. Have you all heard that before? Let go and let God. Give him permission to come in to those places that you're stressing out and worrying about. And when you allow that to happen, guess what? He will come in quicker than you know. It's, it's that easy. And even with the with the oil, he said, I will uh, I want you to anoint your head with oil and wash your face. Because when you anoint your head with oil and wash your face, you are fasting. Fasting. He said, when people go on a fast, you know, the enemy comes in and makes you eat or whatever makes you do something that you're not supposed to do when you're on that fast. But when you are going into your own sacred place and putting that head, that oil on, on your head, right here, you know, or I put it in my hair because I can do that. But he said, anoint your head with oil and let it run where it needs to run. Don't you try to, try to, um, Put it where it needs to go. Let it run where it needs to go. And when you doing that, you allowing me to come into your circumstances, come into those places. You are going into the sacred place where only you and God know that you fasted. Not everybody needs to know that. You know what I'm saying? The devil don't need to know that. Okay? But that is your weapon. This oil right here is your weapon. He told me the other day to, like the lower energies, the, the, the things that hmm, make us angry, those things that go in our head over and over and over again, that is lower energy. And he said it's devil energy. The devil will come in because he's after our minds. So he'll come in and try to mess with our minds, our brains, or whatever. And that gets us out of God. So he said, I want you to anoint your head with oil and wash your face. And that will keep that devil back away from you. Okay? Hear what I'm saying. Trust what I'm saying. This is coming from a person who was broken. I'm no longer broken anymore. But I was broken. But I had to get inside of myself, go inside of myself, and feel the emotion of that hurt and pain. And once I felt the emotion of that pain and that hurt, then that's when God was able to come in and wash it clean. I hope you guys like the content of what I'm speaking about today. And if you like what I'm speaking about, like, share, and subscribe, thumbs up, and comment down below. When you give me thumbs up, you know, that's letting me know, that's letting everyone know that you like and what I'm talking about. So, I bless you guys, and give God permission to come in. It's that simple, guys. Give Him permission, and watch Him move, okay? That is the prophetic word for today. Give him, God our Father, permission to come in. Bye for now.